Here we are, here we are. Today I am on the drill. Got the auto steer going. So I'm one of the steering wheel attendants today. But hi, <laughs> makes the job a bit easier. Uh, Dad was using it, but uh, he's away to do slurry. I think he prefers it when I do this. He, he's not got the knack of this sort of steer thing yet. Just need more time to get used to it. <laughs> uh, he had the GPS, the old GPS system in for spreading fertilizer further away at rented ground, so it meant he didn't need to take the base station with him. So, right, now I'm in about in about the farm close by, I'm able to use it, and uh, aye, it's just keeping it dead straight. Uh, that's one bag out over here. Not sure what that was beeping at. Meh. <laughs> Not sure what that was all about. But. I should still work out anyway. <laughs> I'm just counting the, counting the hectares and the speeds. Um, I could go a little bit faster. Um, I know that's one full bag out, so that was about 2.4 hectares. Um, but this this buggered up. Right, so it was a little bit less than that. I'm not just quite sure what we exactly put out. Uh, it wasn't the speed wasn't working off the wheel, the sensor. Uh, this cable that goes into the back of it was needing a uh, clean, so I put some switch cleaner on it and plugged it back in and she's working again so hopefully she'll work properly this time and I'll get a more accurate reading as to what we're putting out uh, barley to the hectare uh, we're going to roughly uh, roughly we're going to aim for around 210 kilo to the hectare I think was what dad was requesting <laughs> uh, so we'll just need to see how it goes adjust it as time goes on it would have been easier worked out if that worked on the first go of the field but she didn't so here we are I'm going to need to do it with the next bag and uh, get it properly done right we're at the end of the field here so I'll yeah. turn it got the tractor trying to line itself up here To do a couple of rounds of the heat rig first with the power harrow on it uh, because she was um, uh, a ploughed. This this field here required it to be uh, ploughed so that the hole, the shock from the land wheel was in field. Next year it'll be the other way around, but the power harrow drained the field first just to level that off a bit because it is a hell of a bump to go through with the drill, the combine, anything you're doing. It's just a bugger, as most folk will know, uh, if you don't do anything about it. But I'm uh, doing this, and this is what makes everyone nervous. <laughs> uh, missing a few rows, but it just makes it easier to turn at the ends. Um, and I'll come back. And because we don't tram line, it's not that much of a bother. Uh, don't ask me why we don't tram line, it's just something that's never wanted to do because I don't know. <laughs> Later on in the year it doesn't matter if there's a few greeners coming up through because we crimp the barley it all doesn't have to be even so it all just gets put in the crimp but anyway so uh, we don't need the tram lines so I, I know it would maybe make it a bit easier for spraying and putting fair out but here we are <laughs> right so I am um, let's see how many rows out one two three four five rows out from there but that should make it easier for me to turn looks like I hit a stone there that's my next runs baller next run to the worry about uh, currently sewing at 6.4k, according to that. Um, could 
could go into gear 10 actually, go a bit faster, but I'm just cruising. Straight, and I have not had to touch the steering wheel once, so yes, I am a steering wheel attendant. <laughs> Coming to the end of the row here again, there was a hole in at this end, so up we go. PTO off, stop the steering. Up. Take the revs off with a lazy boy. <laughs> Pedaling management button. That, well, I, I like using it. Don't need to play around with this. It just go, goes back up to the constant same revs. They're a wet bit there, eh? See how she lines up. Right, back to two. Come in the right bit, put her down, PTO on, and get the revs up, and away we go. Just bro, this I like sewing so much easier than drilling. Eh, I like sewing it so much easier than plowing. <laughs> As I said, the plowing on this field was a wee bit of crooked because of the way the field starts. Uh, it's got quite a bend up this end, uh, and then I stood straighten it out over there, as you would have seen in my. Uh, first plowing video actually. Um, a few of you commenting that I should be plowing with the auto steer. No, you do not need to plow with auto steer. I'm not doing that. <laughs> no, no, we need a, no, we need to move it from this tractor into the other tractor when we could just be getting on with it like we are. So there's no point in doing that. You don't you don't need auto steer when you're plowing. <laughs> Uh, the field over there is proof of that. It is dead straight. And the last field I done was dead straight. Because I had good straight. Uh, well, started off the dike side and that was nice and straight, so that made it far easier. But as I said, working with the very width, I was able to get it straight eventually. But uh, it was all for nothing when it came to the corner going round the farm there. <laughs> Aye, coming to the end of another row here. So, I'm in gear 10 now, which is still sitting pretty good. 4, 1, 0. It kind of bounces about because you're going over rough ploughing, I suppose. Uh, well, it's not rough. We all know it's level, eh? <laughs> it's just ploughing, though. A bit bumpy. Right, up we go, spause, PTO off, revs. Uh, let's get this thing turned. The grass is fair coming on in the dry cow field here, so hopefully, um, I want to put the dry cows out because that's another load less and with the silage getting lower, uh, we could really do with it being the cows been out and then uh, I'll be a lot less feeding, a lot less pressure. Struggling to steer here. A bit of weight in the back of this. I mean a heavier weight block. Ah, bugger it. I'll just go off this line, stress everyone out. Put it on quick enough, so I'm reversing to get it closer to the line. Try to pull a wheelie here. There we go. It's almost right. There we go. Right, PTO on, revs up, and we're off. 
leaving a strip. Yep. Get the gears going. Lovely. <laughs> Beautiful day. Coffee, please, with this. This is more like the weather we're needing. Could do with a bit of rain once it's in. Get it really going with a bit of moisture. Then I can. Well, I'll need to keep this roll before that, but we need to lift all the stones as well. There's a, bit of, there's a few of them kicking about. Here we are on the way back up. Managed to turn in here. This is a bit that stresses everyone out. <laughs> but, you wouldn't know. All you can see is the difference in the soil from how warm it is today and making it evaporate. Ha! <laughs> Aye. But, no, I'll be horsing through this. I don't have much to put in anyway, so hopefully it'll all work out okay. This thing hasn't beeped at me since, so God knows what it was all about when it did. But all going well, she should be done, done in no time. No time at all. Love it.